talking about Senator Mitchell. Yeah. He's our guy. Okay. So did you get any of that or yeah. enough and of that? And is everything okay with where the microphone <laughs> is? And okay, great. So uh, uh, let's see, where was that? So we created the uh, Community Development Financial uh, Institutions Fund of the United States Treasury uh, while he was Senate Majority Leader, and for a few years uh, had uh, access to some new resources for the work we were doing. But along the way, we were trying to figure out how can we use the tax code uh, to incent private capital into projects that we were trying to finance. It's one thing to have a direct uh, gift from the government or an individual, a social investment and so forth. It's another thing to perhaps turn to the tax code and see whether we can uh, generate a credit uh, against which a, an institution would then be able to make an investment in projects that we're bringing forward. So. child care uh, services to even home health care, a whole variety of projects as a result of this, of this particular tax credit. Over the course of the program. Over the course of that program. Mm -hmm. But based on that demonstration project, mm -hmm. uh, we thought, well, wouldn't it be interesting to have a tax credit that is much bigger and can be expanded? Because this was just a demonstration project. So we went uh, to the Treasury and talked about that, and from that became the New Markets Tax Credit Program. How do you go to the Treasury? Like, what happened? We have a group of, of uh, peers, of practitioners uh, around the country that work together as a collaborative. Mm -hmm. uh, we come back to this uh, working together as community, in effect, to look for ways to advocate for resources from the federal government that can uh, support our field, that can fuel our field. Now, mind you, we've uh, financed something like 2,000 businesses here in the state of Maine. We have a whole stream of investments in the fishing industry, or in timberland, or in childcare, or in health facilities. Where's all that flexible patient capital coming from? So we're always focused on the federal government in ways uh, to do that, and that's uh, the, the tax credit approach is yet another strategy to uh, incent private investment in the work we do. Are you okay with everything? Mm -hmm. Okay. What I want to know, who picked up the phone, called the Treasury Department and said, I'd like to have a meeting, and with whom did you meet? Like, what was that granularity? Like, okay, we have, there were people within the uh, Treasury Department. Uh, Robert Rubin was uh, the Secretary of Treasury at that time. Uh, he had a special assistant, uh, whom I could name is Michael Barr, he's a professor at the University of Michigan now, uh, who's very interested in community development. And the conversation was actually going on with the White House. Uh, the White House under President Clinton uh, at that time, at toward the la in the last years of his second term, was very interested in leaving some legacy uh, behind as to uh, what the government could do for what we call underserved communities. Communities in this country that do not have access to capital or relationships even with uh, intermediary vehicles like my own organization uh, so that investments can be made in them around vital services, small businesses, Tax Credit Program. 
did you ever think then, right, when you were trying to even get the idea through, did you ever imagine it would become what it is today? Did you know that? Did you have that vision? Our industry is something we refer to as the CDC Community Development Corporation, which again began in the 60s, uh, and the CDFI industry, uh, the Community Development Financial Institutions, which was uh, passed in the mid-90s uh, when our own Senator Mitchell was uh, majority leader. That history uh, and that network consists of now uh, well over a thousand, two thousand, and maybe more entities around this country doing this work of uh, aggregating capital, private and public, and investing in underserved areas. We've always had the vision of attempting to uh, reach some kind of scale and impact, that we are a system and an industry and a field like the banking system and an important structure. So we've had that vision always. It was very hard to believe, on the other hand, that we could get to the kind of scale that the New Markets Tax Credit Program has uh, uh, allowed us to do. So now we're looking at well over a $30 billion industry. It's growing. Uh, added to all the other work we've done, uh, we're quite a significant force now in the country. Absolutely. Um, so why aren't you, I know this is not on our list no. at all, but Ron, why aren't you, you could have with what you do, why aren't you yourself in Washington or why aren't you on Wall Street? I mean, it, it, is Good it question. A <laughs> <laughs> well, um, our, our field is a field of mission, of, of made up of people who care about how to make money work for people, uh, essentially. Um, we have interests in especially low-income and working families and individuals. And uh, we're practitioners. Uh, I come from a background of uh, boots on the ground. Um, life has some meaning for me personally and for many our f in our field when we actually see a child care center built uh, or the working capital provided for a business. For example, a couple of the projects that the New Markets Tax Credit uh, did early on were just incredible. The Gulf of Maine Research Institute right here in the Portland uh, Fish Pier is looking at how to support the long-term development and sustainable development of a 400-year-old history in the Gulf of Maine. What can be more exciting than being part of helping to have uh, finance that kind of institution to develop, or in fact to be financing a land trust in northern and down east Maine that is not only conserving thousands of acres of timberland from being chopped up and sold uh, uh, off for their value, but not for their environmental value, but also combine that with uh, a working forest and jobs for uh, harvesters and processors. You're right down on the ground uh, our first investment at CEI was in uh, 1979 in a fish processing cooperative in Booth Bay Harbor. Uh, and being close to that, um, the ground, is something that is very special to us. So I'm not on Wall Street or in Washington for those reasons. Mm -hmm. Get back to the script. Okay, yeah, what is a script? Um, so 